Ezra chapter 2. Now these are the children of the providence that went up out of the captivity. All right, these are the people that are in Babylon. They've left Babylon. They're on their way to Jerusalem. Of those that which have been carried away, they're in Babylon, who Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, had carried away into Babylon. And came again unto Jerusalem and Judah, every one unto his city, which came with Zerubbabel, Jeshua, Nehemiah, Saria, Reliah, Mordecai. Now that's not the Mordecai that's in uh, the book of uh, Esther. Bishu, uh, Bilshan, Mizpar, Big Vale, Rehum, Benaiah, the number of the men of these people of Israel. The children of Parish, 2,172. Now this is the head count that Ezra counts. This is going to be different from Nehemiah's count. Nehemiah is the official rule. rule. Ezra is the head count. And then the difference between the two lists, there are people who died. Maybe there are people who were missed. I mean, for those scholars that disregard the Bible and all that, let them count everybody in America and then see how accurate they are when you count them again. In other words, I'll let you count America twice and let's see how much you get 100%. You're going to have different numbers. The children of Shephatuiah, 372. The children of Erha, 775. The children of Pehath, Moab. Of the children of Jeshua and Joab, 2,812. The children of Elam, 1,252. The children of Zaktu, 949. The children of Zakai, 703 score. Again, it shows you that God is a bookkeeper. And amazing how we're reading all these books of numbers of people and all that, and we're not told how many holy diapers Jesus used when he was a baby. The children of Zechariah, verse 9, 703 score. The children of Benai, 642. The children of Bibiah, 623. The children of Azgad, 1,222. Verse number 13. The children of Niachim, which his name means Lord of Rebellion, 660 and 6. Six six six. That six hundred sixty six can be found in Second Chronicles nine thirteen. It can be found in First Kings ten fourteen and Revelation thirteen eighteen. The children of Big Vaya, two thousand fifty and six. The children of Aden, four hundred fifty and four. The children of Atar of Hezekiah. Of Hezekiah 90 and 8. The children of Bezai, 323. The children of Jorah, 112. The children of Heshem, 223. The children of Gibbar, 90 and 5. The children of Bethlehem. Well, that's a city. 120 and 3. The men of Neopath, 50 and 6. The men of Ananoth. That's where Jeremiah is from. It's a city. 120 and 8. Do you wonder why God would recognize Anna? Those are the people that wanted to kill Jeremiah during his preaching. The children of Azamaeth, 40 and 2. The children of Kirchhoff Aram, Sepharer, 
and Biriov, 740 and 3. The children of Ramoth and Giba, 621. The men of, oh, well, now we're going to the men. Before it's been the children, the children of people, the children of cities. Now the men of Mechmas, 120 and 2. The men of Bethel and Ai, cities, 223. The children of Nebo, city, 50 and 2. The children of Mikbesh, 150 and 6. The children of the, the children of the other Elam. So there must be another Elam. Must be two or more. A thousand two hundred fifty and four. The children of Hiram, three hundred and twenty. The children of Lod, Hadad, and Ono. I'd love to be giving somebody uh, my information, my my address on the telephone. And say, where do you live? Oh no, what, what happened? Nothing. You want to tell them where you live? Oh no, what happened? Nothing. Tell me where you live. Oh no. What happened? Nothing. You'd be on the phone with your father, father's day, and say, Hey, where'd you move to? Hey, Dad, what? Nothing, Ned. What's the name of the city you moved to? Hey, Dad, what? 720 and 5. The children of Jericho. That's the cursed city. 340 and 5. The children of Shina. 3,630. 3, now the priests, the priests, the children of Jediah, of the house of Jeshua, 973. The children of Imar, 1,050 and 2. The children of Pasher, 1,240 and 7. The children of Hiram, 1,017. You say, why am I reading all these names? And blah, why can't we just skip? Because when I make my way through the Bible, studying all the way through, I can actually say I read the Bible all the way through. There are people who tell you I read the Bible all the way through from Matthew to Revelation, and no, you didn't. Because what is it? When you get to Numbers chapter seven, you start thinking about things you have to do and that the lawn needs to be mowed, and you go back and read it again, and you start thinking about what you're going to have for lunch. You know, and the, the same tribe brought the same thing 12 different times. The Levites. So all priests are Levites, but not all Levites are priests. The children of Yeshua and Kadamel, the children of Hadaviah, 70 and 4. The singers. The children of Asaph. And where have you seen that name? That's the one that appears in Psalms all the time. That's the guy that was under David for the songs, and David gave his name special that his name appears in the title of a majority of your songs. 120 and 8. The children of the porters. That's the doorkeepers. So when Jesus says in John chapter 10, he talks about the porter that opens up the door, they knew exactly what he was saying. The children of Shalom, the children of Ater, the children of Talmon, the children of Echub, the children of Hetiah, the children of Shobiah, in all 139. The Nephilims, the children of Zilha, the children of Hashipua, the children of Tabua, the children of Kyrios, the children of Shahaya, the children of Padon, the children of Lebahaya, the children of Hagabin, the children of Akub, the children of Hagim, the children of Shalami, the children of Hanan, the children of Gibeel, the children of Gehar, the children of Rahiliel, the children of Rizin, the children of Nikoda, the children of Gazim, the children of Uzziah, the children of Peshio, the children of Beshiah, the children of Ashina, the children of Mahalim, the children of Nephishim, the children of Bakaba, the children of Hakapa, the children of Harher, the children of Basileth, the children of Mehadiah, the children of Harsha, the children of Barkos, the children of Caesarea, the children of Tharma, 
the children of Nesiah, the children of Hadapiah. Now they weren't even counting. They're just the children, the children, the children. The children of Solomon's servants, the children of Satai, the children of Sepharioth, the children of Peruda, the children of Jehael, the children of Darkon, the children of Gibeah, the children of Shephatiah, of Pachrith, of Zebim, the children of Ammi. All the Nethanims, the children of Solomon's servants, were 392. They're all lumped together. Some people are, are, are credited for a, a father and their children. Some people are credited by where they're located. Some people are credited by that they were the priests. Some people were credited as they were just Levites. Some were credited as singers. Some were credited as uh, uh, porters. Some were credited as Nethanims. And your name may not have a number. This may be... You know, the children know. You know why it says in uh, Ephesians 2 8, not by works, we say any man boast. Because you get to heaven, you open up this Bible, which I believe is going to be in heaven. Well, how come my name isn't mentioned there? Why doesn't my children have a number? We'd be having World War 14,038. Over the names and all that and the genealogy. So let's just base it all upon Jesus Christ and his finished work. Verse 61. And the children of the priests, the children of Habiah, the children of Koz, the children of Barzaliah, which took a wife of the daughters of Barzaleli, the Gileadite, and was called after their name. These sought their registry among that which was reckoned by genealogy. Now here's a, here's a priest class. Now here's why they're different. But they were not found. Therefore they, as polluted, put from the priesthood. All right, here come some guys that come up and say, listen, we're priests. Okay, here's our line. Here's our heritage. They check it out and they can't find them. Their name is not in the book what does the scripture say it says you're polluted and put from the priesthood listen today in the church age the Bible says in Revelation chapter 1 we're priests if your name is not in the genealogy of Jesus Christ you are polluted and you are put out in the priesthood and you will go to hell I know that I know we're in the book of Ezra, but that's today. You better have your name in the book. You better have the genealogy of Jesus. The new birth, the adoption into God's family. How are we adopted in God's family? The name is Jesus Christ. It ain't Mary. It ain't Allah. It ain't Baloni. It ain't church. It ain't water. You better have the genealogy of Jesus Christ. The very genealogy that we've been reading that Satan has been trying to pollute himself. That polluted there that we see in verse 62 is the same thing that, that Satan wants to do in the line of Jesus Christ that you find in Matthew and you find in Luke. You go back and you study those names, especially those names that are in the Bible, you can study. You look at how Satan has put sin and put things in their life. The fact is, here's Abraham. Well, we're not going to wait. Here, take my handmaid. They, uh, Jacob rightfully gets the birthright. It's sold to him, and he's almost killed by the person that gave up the birthright that should have been in the line of Christ. Where he goes to his father-in-law and is polluted almost. The fact is, his father-in-law, if he had not been for God, you know that Laban would have sent Jacob out with nothing. And then Jacob gets involved with four women.
and then all things are, are, are great. The fact is, here David doesn't go to war and has an affair with someone, someone else's wife. And Solomon is in the line of Jesus Christ, the one that he had an affair with. So what does Solomon try? I mean, what does did Satan try to do with Solomon? Get some women with a thousand wives. Well, with a thousand wives and all the children, how are you going to know who's in the line of Christ? Then we've already read through all the kings, Rehoboam and all them. When we get done with Ezra and Nehemiah, guess what's happening? They're marrying women of Babylon. They're marrying any kind of woman that's walking on two legs. They marry them. And I believe it's Nehemiah says they couldn't even speak the Jewish language. Ha ha ha. You know what Satan did? You got mixed blood. So that pollution there, that's what Satan wants to do. And stopped when Jesus Christ was born. There's no after Jesus Christ was born, there was no more assault on that line of Jesus as Jesus was already born. After that he tried to kill Jesus. How? By making Mary go on a long donkey ride. Trying to have Herod kill that young boy. Trying to get the Pharisees and the Sadducees and the scribes to kill him. Trying to get him to bow down and worship Satan himself. Well, Jesus Christ went to the cross, died, was buried, arose again from the grave. How can he pollute that? He can't. There's victory, Paul says. So what can he pollute now? The church. If you think Satan is in the bar room, you are fooled. You are deceived. He don't need to worry about his own people. If you think Satan's on the heels of a, of a Christian that's a couch potato not doing anything, you are deceived. You are wrong. If you think that Satan is opposition of all these church around this neighborhood, in this country, in this world, you are deceived. You are fooled. There are Christians that got up this morning and, they, and no one cared. And yet there, there are Christians that got up this morning and the alarm clocks in hell went off. And the, and the Satan's devils and Satan's angels mustered themselves. Listen. The evil spirits one time spoke out and said, Jesus we know, Paul we know. He's trying to pollute the church, and guess what? He's doing a very great job of it. Do you know what the church is? I'll give you a $50 question to figure out what the church is. Aren't we the sons of God? Oh, so he is back out trying to pollute that lineage. We are the lineage of Jesus Christ. If he can pollute us to do wrong then guess what? There'll be no one else out there to tell his people how to get saved and how to do right. I think he's winning the battle. Have you seen the ways that vacation, Bible, school, or classes, whatever you want to call them, are trying to win the little kitties? Have you seen the churches, how they come, come as you are? Have you heard the churches and their stupidity? God just loves the sinner. Really? Back in 33 AD, he loved the sinner according to the scriptures. What about the sinner that never confesses and never gets right and never believes in the Lord Jesus Christ? Does he just love them? So that pollution is what Satan wants. Now, these people, and I don't know, if they were right, even if they're right, their names are not in the book. What's that tell you? You could do everything you want by the law. That rich man that Jesus dealt with, 
When Jesus quoted to him the Ten Commandments, Yea, Lord, I've done all that. Jesus did not rebuke him. Yeah, but if he would have died, he would have gone to hell. He said, well, I don't know if he got saved. By a great, very study of the scriptures, that looks like it could have been Paul. You can be perfect and still die go to hell if your name's not in the book. What does Jesus tell them? We, I mean, the people say, didn't we do this in your name? Didn't we do this? Didn't we do that? Didn't we do this? Didn't we do that? And Jesus said, I never knew you. <coughs> and the Tarshita said unto them that they should not eat at the most holy things. In other words, you can't take part in the sacrifices. There were certain sacrifices that you, the priests and the Levites could eat. You guys can't. That they should not eat the most holy things till there stood up a priest with a urim with a thurum. Now that was worn on the high priest inside the, the chest, uh, the breastplate. So there's no high priest yet because he just said until he stands up the high priest, until we get that urim thurum. So we, this urim thurum was a weird thing that shows up in the scriptures. That Saul tries to ask counsel of it, and it does not answer him. And it was two kind of stones. Forget what the, the, the smart aleck people who don't know what they're talking about, who go to school in some cemetery. Whatever way, that thing with the breastplate with all the 12 stones of the children of Israel answered. And what this, what the Tarshuma, which is authority, a guy of authority, he says, listen, when we get that breastplate, when we get the Urim and Thurim, we will be before the high priest, we will ask at that time, God, through the Urim and the Thurim, are you the priest? Because we don't know. If that's right, if that's an illustration... Maybe the great white throne judgment, all the books will be open. And if their name is not in the book, they're going to turn to the great high peace, priest, Hebrews, to Jesus Christ, the great high priest, who offered his sacrifice once, Hebrews says. High priest, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. And guess who gets the last say? You're seeing Jesus Christ right there. The final answer. You don't want Jesus Christ to tell you to go to hell. The whole congregation together with 42,303 score. Besides their servants. So the servants weren't added. Their maids. The maids weren't added. Of whom there were 7,337. Now add that to the grand total of 64. And there were among them 200 singing men and singing women. You say, well, they were mentioned back there in 41. No, those were the Levites that were the singers. These are people who were not Levites, evidently. Their houses, excuse me, their horses. You mean God's recording 736? Their mules, 245. Their camels, 425. That's not cigarettes. 35. Their asses. 6,720. 6, and some of the chief of the fathers, when they came to the house of the Lord, which is at Jerusalem, offered freely for the house of God to set up in his place. So they, they gave an offering 
They gave after their ability what they could do. The New Testament is 2 Corinthians 9, 6-14. And that is God loves a cheerful giver. Do you see that after their ability? That explains to you New Testament giving. Do, we're not supposed to give tithes in the church. Well, blah, 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 blah. It says we are to give after our ability. So if you can give above 10%, <coughs> you give it. And there's one clause to it. God wants a cheerful giver. 1,000 drams of gold, 5,000 pounds of silver, 100 priest garments. So the priests and the Levites and some of the people and the singers and the porters and the Nephilims dwell in their cities and all of Israel in their cities. So that's the census, that's the tally mark of who, who, what they brought. And we're going to get on. There's a possibility that Ezra, if it follows what happened in David's time when there was a numbering of the people, there's a time coming up when the, when the tabernacle and the temple are going to be built. There may be a census found of the Jews to know who they are and what tribe they are, and especially to find out who are the priests and who are not the priests. If you're to follow Ezra and Nehemiah. So there be, may be one day the, 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 the people, the Jews, the Israelites may know who they are. I mean, after all, Satan, the Antichrist, is going to be out to get the purebred Jews anyway. That would be his goal, to get those purebred Jews. And there's only one family of Jews that can be the priests and that's the Levites and they got to know who they are they don't know who they are today so maybe a genealogy will be found in the future I don't know